hi friends today we can discuss the the beautiful drug of the homeopathic maternal medica is called arnica the arnica it is a plant remedy and it is more commonly used for the injuries and trauma and its effects okay first arnica is a thermally is a chilly patient point number 1 okay what is chilly patient chilly patient means intolerable to the cold okay if you see the mental general of the arnica is if you see the patient how we can come to know this is arnica the arnica patient is always want to be alone okay they don't want to be talked and they don't want to be approached understand this is arnica okay the arnica patient is don't want to be talked and don't want to be approached they want to be alone because they don't want to be enter into the conversation that is the mental state of the arnica in the physical state also patient don't want to be touched understand patient don't want to be touched because patient is over sensitive to stop the pain okay over sensitive to stop pain therefore patient don't want to be touched because there is a soreness of the body you understand there is a sore lame bruised feeling all over the body has a beaten this is a characteristic symptoms of the arnica understand in arnica there is a patient uh, there is a sudden fear of the death comes when there is a patient to wake up that night and grasping the heart they feel that they suddenly die understand this is arnica they wake up at the night and thinks that they is going to die suddenly because of the heart troubles okay we can also see the symptoms in the opium the symptoms we also see in the opium but opium symptoms are in the morning opium symptoms are at the morning but arnica patient its dreams at the night okay there is fear of death okay it's come suddenly they woke up at the night and grasping the heart they say feel that they going to die suddenly this is a arnica patient understand and the another characteristic symptoms of the arnica is you see for example hmm, patient is having a zygomatic disease with a violent fever okay if the patient having a accident okay if the patient had a accident or maybe patient is suffering from any diseases the patient is unconscious okay then what happens whatever you question ask okay you ask them what is your name they correct the answers correctly okay when you wake up and ask them the question they ask, they give correct answer but they go to the followed by they go to the unconscious state this is arnica whenever you ask the question in unconscious patient you will wake up them you will ask the question they will give a right answer but after giving right answer right answer they again go to the stupor condition you can also see that you can uh, differentiate it from the baptisia because the baptisia is also sore lame bruised feeling 
how we differentiate it from the baptesia you see uh, whenever you ask question for the baptesia patient in between of their answer they go into unconscious stage this is how we differentiate it from the baptesia and arnica then other we differentiating factor is in the arnica there is so much uh, there is not so much as compared to the baptesia uh, there is offensiveness of discharges offensive discharges are present in baptesia as compared to the arnica this is a second uh, differentiating characteristic of the arnica and baptesia another way to identify identify the arnica patient is you know whenever the patient even though they are suffering from serious ill ah uh, even though they are suffering from the serious ill they said that i don't need a doctor i am not sick this type of answer we get it from the arnica patient even though they are suffering from the severe illness they are okay with them okay they said that they don't want need they don't need doctor huh they said that i am not sick i don't want water i i don't want doctor hmm i don't want you like that the patient is reacting to the doctor this is arnica patient okay next we see <clears throat> okay in arnica the first characteristic symptom is there is a sore lame bruised feeling all over the body the next <clears throat> whenever everything on which the patient lies it seems to hard because of soreness because of soreness in arnica patient everything they lie everything on which they lie the patient feels hard okay therefore we see the patient of arnica they always uh, turning and moving turning and moving because they feel hard because of soreness <clears throat> we can also see the restless you think that because they are turning and moving because of their restlessness you know, we can see restlessness in the restrox and also arsenic album and also aconite these are the trios of restlessness remedies understand these are the trios of restlessness remedies in when <coughs> is next <coughs> okay next yeah <coughs> we can indicate arnica in the sprain of ankles sprain of ankles in sprain of ankle is a arnica is a wonderful remedy understand there is a wonderful remedy <coughs> okay after if you see there is a another case hmm. this case is there is a sprain of joints sprain of joints ha ah. after the sprain of joints uh, what happens you can prescribe due to the there is a sore lame bruised feeling ah uh, in the sprain of joints then what to do then you can indicate arnica in a higher potency is 200 or 1m if you indicate the arnica then the symptoms are go if there is a weakness of tendons then what to do we can indicate restox it is wonderful remedy it is also follow well to the arnica if there is a weakness and tenderness then what to do here restox is not only sufficient 
with thrusters we can indicate calcarea huh? this calcarea rustox and calcarea if you give it relieve the complaints we commonly see in arnica the rheumatism is ascending type of rheumatism ascending type in ac ac ascending type of rheumatism in lidum pall also okay in descending type what are the remedies in descending type what are the remedies cactus and calmia this is a descending type of rheumatism arnica is a ascending type of rheumatism ascending type of rheumatism we can indicate arnica complaints are aggravated by the touch okay amelioration by lying down understand the parts are very sensitive to touch very sensitive okay then we can indicate the arnica in especially in a chronic condition if the patient is history of the gout okay after the gout of the many years there is a soreness in the joints okay soreness in the joints then we can indicate arnica if there is a over sensitiveness here the patient feel that here the patient feel that anything that coming towards them is going to hurt him okay then we can indicate arnica in cases we can indicate beautifully in the appendicit appendicitis if you know the symptoms of arnica and rustox and bryonia and belladonna then there is no need of surgery okay there is no need of surgery in appendix appendicitis if you know the arnica bryonia rustox and belladonna there is no need of surgery in the appendicitis next <clears throat> arnica is also indicated in the pregnant women pregnant women you see if the, there is a movement movement of fetus there is a movement of fetus due to that there is a pain due to that there is a pain and it is not like that there is increased movement okay because patient is over sensitive that's why there is a pain understand even patient cannot sleep at the night due to the movement of fetus in the abdomen okay the arnica will uh, relieve this complaint arnica is also indicated in the constant dribbling of the urine after the labor okay there is a constant dribbling of the urine after the labor we can indicate arnica is also in that conditions understand next <clears throat> arnica is beautifully indicated when if you know if you see i come you i complex after the injury okay after the injury there is a retinal or conjunctival hemorrhage conjunctival or retinal hemorrhage okay with extravasion of intraocular intraocular hemorrhage from the injuries 
whenever there is a history of injury okay in eye complaint there is a conjunctival and retinal hemorrhages with extravasation of the intraocular hemorrhage hemorrhage we can indicate the arnica next next symptoms of the arnica is you know <coughs> head he is eat extremities are cold hmm this is a symptoms of the arnica if we take example of infantile fever and there is a threatened convulsions okay then the head is heat hot and extremities are cold we now commonly think of the belladonna okay when <coughs> if if for example if there is a child don't want to be touched don't want to be touched because of over sensitiveness or soreness okay then we will thought of arnica understand then we will talk of thought of arnica okay <clears throat> uh this is a what the arnica uh next class we see another drug picture another drug picture okay thank you